<laughs> so, welcome to Jurassic World Alive, where my shirt has shrank, which is really annoying. I think it has. I'm going to have to go back and look at old footage and be like, no, maybe it always looked like that. <laughs> I've just become huge. Um, no, we are looking at um, a new dinosaur that's kind of just been released by itself. If I, if I, I think I'm getting that right. Yeah, so hold on. Yeah, that's right. Oh, my God. Oh, I forgot about this. I was saving this for a video. I was saving this for a video because I saw some of these hybrids and I thought this can't be real. This cannot be real. Turns out it's very real. Very real. Um, hold on, let me, uh, there we go. Sort up the hair. Uh, so first off, the new dinosaur, um, Albertosaurus, which looks um, exactly like the one from Jurassic World Evolution. Or at least with the eyebrow. It has eyebrows, um, if I remember right. And that's what um, the one in Jurassic World Evolution had. Look at that. Look at it. Glorious. And also, for whatever reason, it's wearing lipstick. I don't know whether that's supposed to be blood, um, but I don't think it is, because no other dinosaur just has blood on its snout, but uh, Albertosaurus does. So 106 speed, 30% crit chance, so pretty decent at a crit. Uh, fierce killer instinct, ooh, priority. Uh, remove taunt, remove shield, attack, bypassing armor. That's the first time I've seen, like, a, a crushing, like, an impact like that have priority. Oh, okay, okay. Um, damage, oh god, it's resist- For rare, bloody nora, it's, it, it's resistant to a lot of swap prevention is good, damage over time is good, speed decrease, 100% resistance, and crit reduction. Which I guess, I don't think anybody ever goes, you know what, my dinosaur team, I'm gonna crit reduce everybody. Oh, like that's, I'm going to base my, my dinosaur around crit reduction, so I never get crit. And that seems to be just, you know, you know, whatever. <laughs> so I got, I, I died it once, and then we have the new uh, high score for the drone there. Um, but, I mean, that that's a cool dinosaur, right? However, we have, oh, we have, we have horrendous uh, atrocities that Ludia has uh, um, committed. Um, to na Mother Nature. This kind of, well, not really being one of the Dodo Sevier. Um, oh, look at them. He was running around. So that's a lot of health. Um, for level 16, I think. 120 126 bloody speed. Wah. Okay, well, that's what it's got going for it. It doesn't have any armor or crit. Um, and I think, yeah, protective alert. So it can actually heal itself. Um, alert decoy. Interesting. Threaten HP uh, ability disabled. Okay, so HP over uh -huh, highest damage, 100% uh -huh, critical hit. Oh, so you always get a crit hit if you do alert decoy as long as you're secure. Interesting. There's a delay of one, so that's very rare to get off. I think you have to be faster and, you know, on your second turn you do it. And I think if you lose one, you're still secure. I'm really not too sure. I hope you're still secure. Otherwise, that's useless. Um, but I've heard that this one's a good one to use. So, leave in the comments down below. Uh, we've also got this guy. The Megastorus. Me Megastorus? Metastorus, I assume. Which looks like a cat with armor on it. Uh, level 16, 2300. 15% uh, armor and 30% crit chance. Very good. Uh, group shield, uh, defense rendering attack. Ooh, that's a new one. Um, so the target's the highest HP if there's multiples. Um, deal 40% of the target's HP. Very good. And um, and you get a shield, but it's delayed one. Mm. Mm. Now, does it have any abilities? Um, oh, it can kind of resist damage and speed. So that's not too bad. Taunt. Meh. Stun. Very good. You need that. 50% though. Ah, it's awkward with 50%. It's like, if something does instant charge, there's a chance you might be stunned. Because if you've got 75% chance to not be stunned, and that is 75% chance to stun, I think it's, or you'll never get stunned. I think that's how it works. I don't know. Um, I think that's the way that Ludia's tried to make it anyway. Uh, so the scooter for... for fin. <laughs> oh, oh, you're an abomination. Are you Scootosaurus? I assume you're Scootosaurus hybrid. And... Amphacoon. It is as well. Oh, I get loads of Amphacoons. Okay, I could probably get this guy pretty high level if I needed. Um, cleansing. Okay, that's good. Revenge. Uh, 
fierce impact. Oh, and a revenge. Okay. Revenge protection as well. And deceleration uh, rampage. No escape. Escapee. Swap prevent lasting one turn. So you got a passive. You can't. They can't escape. Good. Resistance to stun and resistance to speed increase. Uh, decrease. So that's very good. I don't think really anybody cares about vulnerable. Um, I don't really see that too often. So that's not too bad. But now... Now we get to the bloody worst one. The worst offender, which is this guy. I think this is this unique. No, it's not. <laughs> Why? With the Sintamoth. Oh, look at it there. Isn't it bloody hideous? <laughs> you know what? A lot of people don't like it, and I can see why. It's basically a mammoth with a shovel in its head, or a spade, or a trowel, or any kind of long appendage. Um, <laughs> it's basically just the horn of the uh, Lambiosaur. Now, this is a mixture between Lambio and Mammoth. A Mammoth already has... Let's have a look at Mammoth. I think you already have a few hybrids for... Oh, God. Okay. I was like... No, you have a few hybrids for the bloody Mammoth. Um... Entelmoth is good, Mammotherium is good, and I think some of those might even have a, a unique to them? Yeah, Mammalania, bloody Nora! Okay, okay, so Mammoth DNA is in very high demand. Um, so why would you want to have this guy? Well, let's have a look, shall we? You get 10% armor, which I think is around about normal, I think, with the Mammoth. You have some armor. 113 speed, which isn't too bad. Uh, 3,000 health, which is very good. 767 attacks are not the greatest of attack, but you do persistent approach to strike, so you can increase it, you can cleanse yourself, you can do a group heal, and you can decelerate an entire team. Which is very good. 75% chance of stun at uh, stun resistant, which means that if it's a dinosaur that is going to do the instant charge, you're not going to be stunned by it. Very good. Uh, swap prevention. Yay! You hit a miss. I'd rather have 100% for that. Um, and vulnerable, nobody really cares about. So it's not the best. And it's also not the best look. <laughs> it's not an original design. Or shall we say it is an original design? Because I don't think anybody would uh, think of doing that. I think they would maybe, you know, take the Lambiosaur base, chunking it up, putting tusks on it, and maybe, you know, a long nose. There you go. There you got an abomination. But this guy, it's kind of, It's... To me, I think... If this was real, I don't think there'd be much complaints. I think I could see... This being a real, like, Cenozoic beast. Um, but because we know it's not, it's just, it's, it's just like, oh god, <laughs> why? <laughs> I, I personally, whether I'm the only one, I might be the only one, um, but I don't really, I'm not really too fussed about that. Um, but we do have another one. We have this guy, um, the Andrew Thurden, which, oh god, it's, 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 I mean, it's, it's handsome, it's beautiful. Um, and I think we only need this guy to level 10. Now, I have been, I don't think I've darted this guy, or have I? Have I darted it? Let's have a look. Um, I have, 290, wow, okay. Um, so we'll see if we can get, we can possibly get this guy, it's 50 each, so... Chances are that we can't... Oh, God, not with the Dendra. God, Jesus. So, hopefully I'm uploading this after I've done a live stream. Of, I'm hoping, in my head anyway, I was thinking, oh, I could do a video. Like, I'm back! But I'm thinking maybe it's probably better if I just do a live stream because people will have questions, and if I just do a video, then you guys will be like, okay. And <laughs> or, you know, if you've got a question, at least in the live... I mean, that's fine. This is okay. I'll, oh, I was gonna say, I'll take the 10. Um, because that means maybe in my other high, uh, fusion, fusions that I'll get better. And to be fair, when I've been doing Scorpius Rex Gen 3, I have been getting some really good pops with that, like 50, 40. And I think I got a 90 at one point. So 90 on a uni unique creature. You are pulling my leg, aren't you? Um, but I haven't managed Um... Oh, come on, how many tens was that? Like, oh, 10 tens? It felt like 10 tens. It obviously wasn't 10 tens. Um, okay, well, I guess we'll, we'll, we will unlock it because I can just go into our, um, ooh, uh, shared sanctuaries. I think well, we've just shared one now, so it's up to level 13 at the moment. Um, where are you? There you guys are. Is it 20? So, yeah, that's around about, I think 17 is around about right. So, uh, wait, why is there a goat? Why is there a goat making weird noises? 
It's like I'm I'm killing something. Let's go. Uh, no. Again. It's like they're playing multiples at once, but all right. Fair enough. Well, we got two more pops. So if we get like a 20, I think we've done it. Uh, if we got a 30, we've definitely done it. Um, now I need to scroll all the way down. There should be like a scroll to bottom. There should be a scroll to bottom because like... If I'm scrolling all the way down here, I'm not doing anything with these guys, am I? I'm hardly going down here and going, ooh, the new um, Delta or whatever. I want to max that guy up, am I? <laughs> no, that's the Dilophus. So although we are getting close, I say close, we're almost halfway there. We'll get there eventually. Uh, so 100, so yeah, if I get a 30 or 40, sorry, no. Yeah, if I get a 20, we're done. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey, there we go. We did it. Awesome. Just what I needed. So we're going to see this um, this crazy creature. <laughs> this crazy critter. And of course, I get a 10. You know me. I like my 10s. Uh, so we're going to fuse a crate. Sorry. Andrew Therium. Andrew Therium? Uh, again, a creature that looks like it could, it could probably exist. Um, ooh, it's got an interest. Whoa. It's got a Gaussian blur around it. <laughs> <laughs> to try and give it for... Okay, so what can you do? 25% chance to crit. Very good. 5% armor. Not bad. 119 speed. Very good. Uh, don't know about its attack and health. Level 11. You can't really tell. Um, group warning squeal. <laughs> That's brilliant. I love that. Um, shield for four attacks. Lasting this turn. Increased crit chance. 20%. And increased damage. 25%. Lasting two turns. And it reduces the speed of the target for 50%. Uh, okay. So, I don't know why it's got a down for attack. Because you get increased crit and increased damage, but the opponent gets a speed reduction. However, it looks like the, the symbol is making them have an attack decrease, but it's actually speed. But, oh, okay. And rendering attack, which has a cooldown of 1, which does 0.4% of the entire HP, and you can't escape from it. Ooh. Ooh. Stun 50%. Ah. It's not guaranteed. Ah, that's a shame. Swap prevention, okay. Reduce damage, good. Uh, vulnerability 50%. Eh. Speed reduction, good. And crit reduction. Okay, well, we don't really need that. But if this is a hybrid, you know, 50% reduced damage, 50% reduced speed. Uh, very good. Good, some good moves that might, when it fuses to something, be pretty decent. And it's got good uh, resistances, and it's got a good crit chance. And there's a little bit of armor, which, you know, every little counts. But we are now... Go look at, <laughs> look at Alberta Saw there. Hey, I'm here. Uh, we are going to... Uh, actually, what I should do is just see if um, I've had enough Monolophosaurus DNA. So, as you may notice... I have now, I am able to upgrade Hadrosaur Lux up to level 28. And actually, before we go anywhere, before we do anything, because I haven't actually done this, let's look into, I know how long, we're like 60 minutes in, my god. Let's look at this week's events, yay! <laughs> so, it is Tuesday today, so we're still on the first part where you got Gallimimus, Dina Kairos, Dina Cheris, and Phosphorachus um, to dot, which... Gallimimus, do you really need? No, I don't think anybody needs Gallimimus. Um, Dinocaris or Dinocaris, nah. Phosphorachus, maybe, if you're going for the hybrid. Uh, and then on Wednesday to Thursday, you got Klenikin, which is okay. Uh, Ilocosaurus Gen 2, which is pretty decent if you want to just go for a good um, good hybrid for that, for just the rent, uh, general like skill tournaments and stuff. Uh, Hast Eagle Gen 2, or skill tournaments where they're all level 26. Well, the one where it's not uh, capped, or like, you know, they're all the same level. Uh, and then, on well, on Thursday, you've got some good incubators to get. Um, you've got a rare. I don't know what that is. I don't know what the rare is. Like, mm -hmm. Let me zoom in. I don't know. Uh, but Friday to Saturday is pretty decent. You've got Erlicosaurus. Um, if you want to go for Erla Dominus. I don't know if you really want to go for Erla, Erla Dominus because I don't really see it used too much. And I definitely don't use it anymore. Uh, Hast Eagle, which I guess has some hybrid to go into. And Dodo. Which, uh, for the Dodo hybrid, I've heard is pretty decent. And on the Friday, you've got an epic incubator to get. And the important one, on the Sunday, you've got one attempt to either go for Erlikospix, which I see a lot in uh, competitive play, or the Pukzangdakalus, which I think might be the one with the Hast Eagle hybrid. I'm not too sure. But 
Either way, some good lineup there. It's really up to you which, which ones you go for. I wouldn't say there's an outright. For me, I think for the commons, I'd go for Fossorakis. For the rares, I'd go for um, uh, Hast Eagle Gen 2 or Elikasaurus, I think myself. Uh, for the epics, I'd go for Dodo, 100%. And for the Sunday, I think because I've already got Elikasaurus level 29, I'd probably go for the Pukang Gactolus or whatever it is, because I don't think I've ever maxed that guy up. So, back to the actual game. Hello. Um, I do have Hadrosaur looks um to level up however i think it's 200,000 coin and i don't have that much because i spent all my coin leveling up scorpius gen 3 i could trade 4,500 for 250,000 um coin which would allow me to do that but i'm kind of waiting for a sale uh we'll see we'll see so we've got a level 26 um one of this guy i'm gonna make let's have a look um oh there's no, nobody's donated. I guess I just did this two seconds ago. <laughs> well, we may as well just donate this. There you go. And you know what? Gorgo. Um, I think a lot of people are asking for Gorgo. Gorgo. Because they may have been getting for Gorgo Stitches. But now, the new Scorpius X Gen 3 needs it. So, um, let's do a fusion of, I think it's 20. Yep, 20 for 4,000. Let's see what we get. Oh, a 60 and a 50. Not bad. Some very low ones, though. Um, so that is two pops. Unfortunately, not a great deal there. Um, oh, oh, that wasn't very good. Ooh, 80. Brings us to three pops. And possibly, we need to get to 800. We need to get to 800. Oh, there was a 50. There was a 50. And I think, oh, we're just 10 away. Oh, we're 10 away. Oh, that's annoying. Uh, but hold on. Yeah, there we go. We got it. Nice. And we get a 40. So we got three pops, two, four, no, two, four, six, eight. We got four. We got friggin' four pops, guys. For Scorpius Rex Gen 3, um, which I would very highly doubt we're I'm actually going to manage to level up here. But I have been getting very lucky with it. So look at that 40. For unique, a 40 is really friggin' good. Um, the only thing stopping me, like, maxing this guy straight to level 30 is I don't have Monolosaurus Gen 2. That's the only thing. Um... But going from level 21, is it? For a unique? I've, I think it's level 21. Or is it 23? Either way. We're up to level 26 now. So it's definitely usable. Oh, another! Another friggin' 40! We're halfway almost. We're just about to get over halfway. And we probably will be with this one. What do we get? Our survey says a 20. So what was that? 80? We got 120. Four pops, 120. It could have been 40. It could have very likely been 40. But for whatever re reason... E750 Gen 3, or Scorpius X Gen 3, um, is just really kind to me, and I like that. So I, I think I've added at the moment, uh, I've got it to tier 12 on health, um, I think it's tier 4 on speed. I'm trying to, like, really everything else needs, needs to go into attack. Um, and of course, when it's level 30, you'll have, what, six to 7,000 health, and it'll, you know, it's, it'll be pretty damn good. So, as you can see, <laughs> I've dropped down the ranks quite a bit. Hey, so we're gonna do some battles. A lot, like, I think the meta right now I've been told is very swap in, swap out kind of thing. So it's a bit tricky. Now at this rank, I always fight against Ardentus Maximus first. Um, so I'm kind of tempted to put Utaranix in, but he's my speed. So I'm gonna put Morton Rex in here. Um, I guess the Scorpius Rex Gen, oh, German a Titan even. Uh, you know what? If we get a crit here, we can switch into um, Sarah Magnus and just kill it. As long as it doesn't go for its um, its shieldy business. Very rarely see Gemini Titan. Gemini Titan used to be a creature that it was it was really rare to come up against. But oh, have they just have they get, have they seen the sheer power of my attack? Which really is too much. That, I should really take those attacks off and put them on something else. <laughs> but, you know what it is. Oh, no, wait. Did he just disconnect? Oh, that's annoying. Ah, that's annoying. For him. It's really good for me. Um, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> 7,000 to... He's dead. Guy's dead. He can't do anything. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, come on. He's got to have something. Oh, he's given up. He, he, he's, he's, he's thrown in the towel. 
that's it. He's thrown in the towel. There's now he could do and my oh my god. No. Mortem Rex gets an absolute one. I'm so sorry. I don't know. It would have made a difference. If if he'd done his Gemini Titan a big hit, then he could have switched in his, his Sarah Magnus and possibly killed me. And at least then he would have got something. Okay, well, we're going to watch an advert. And then we'll, we'll be right back. Bye, bye, guys. Be on me. That wasn't a proper fight. I really... That was definitely not a battle. Oh, my God. Okay, let, let's do another one, shall we? I, I like how I said I'm doing really bad. And that's why I'm a low rank right now. And then proceed to show you uh, basically killing a, a dude without losing a single dino. That doesn't happen. That is very rare. I'm glad I caught that on camera. So here we go. Three apexes and a um, the raw boosted. I like how <laughs> Hadrosaur looks just has like the same amount of health as Morton Rex. Maybe I should have put more health on that thing. I don't know. Anyway, here we go. Another boy is probably going to be faster than me. Yeah, they, they, they usually are. He's got 600 extra health and two extra speed. However, he, uh, he doesn't have the attack. Now, if I get a crit here, which I don't, but I could have very easily. Now, here's the conundrum, right? Do I switch to Sarah Magnus, reveal my trap card, or do I just let him kill me? Or do I let him reveal his trap card? Oh, fair enough. I'll happily take that. Um, now, I'll put in Scorpio Flux Gen 3, because why not? Look at it. He's, I, I never usually just bring it in. Um, I'll, I, uh, do I want to go for Toxic Quills? Now, I could predict him switching out, but I think he's kind of happy losing his uh, Mortem Rex. Yeah, at that kind of health, I think... The way the meta is now, you know you're going to die. You're that much health, you know that somebody's going to swap in something and just kill you. You know that's going to be the case. Um, early Spix. Oh, interesting, interesting. Um, right. So, I mean, you have precise impact, right, which goes through that. Um, and he he's probably going to do, like, 5,000 damage. Um, but And he's also... Res he's kind of like my worst nightmare. Uh, and I didn't even do anything. Brilliant. I ran out of time. Uh, that's very good. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. I was too busy thinking. Um, I think he's going to fi He's gonna finish me with a speed boost, I think, here. I think he's going to finish me with a speed boost. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, no. Right. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if he's going to go for a switch now. He's going to switch in something to quickly finish off my Hadrosaur looks. And that's a good prize to finish off. I will admit, that's a good prize to finish off. However, I'm not going to let him do that. So I'm going to switch in my Sarah Magnus to hopefully hit his Sarah Magnus. Yeah. And is it Sarah Magnus? Hey, it's after I get Sarah Magnus. Yeah. That, that, that. Oh, wait, what? Oh, we're both the same. We've got the same health. I assume the same speed. I don't know about attack. 2,300, 2,000. Oh, my God. Are we exactly the same? I think we are exactly the same. Oh, of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. I should have went for stun. Hey! I beat him! And I can actually switch out my Sarah Magnus. And I, I, I probably definitely 100% lost this one. I would say. Um, he, yeah, I don't know. I mean... He was actually thinking about what to do there. I don't know why. Grippolith! I, I, I can maybe have a chance to stun Grippolith. Um, and I think he, yeah, he could immobilize, I suppose. Um, I think I'm just going to go for it. Sod it. <laughs> I think I could, well, I can't switch out, I don't think. Can I? Could I have switched out? Nah, I don't think so. Or did I? Sorry, did I not do it there? Oh, well, either way, he's definitely going to go for, you know, his classic, um, you know, regenerate or whatever he's going to do there. So I'm just going to go for mine here. And then we'll be on the same page. And then I think with two hits, it depends what he's going to do here. It really does. Because he could go for a hit. And he does He does go for a hit. Fair play to him. Fair play to him. Um, and then he'll probably go for his regeneration here. Am I able to swap out? Uh, no. So, with that in mind, he, he'll go for his uh, emergency heal while he can. Um, now, it's a case of whether he's got a shield. I think he's won this. Um... Yeah, he's definitely won. Okay, he decided to go for another hit. Fair enough. Yeah, he's won. <laughs> oh, but another thing with Jurassic World Alive I want to show you guys. 
um, is that the kind of the picture, you know, when you open up Just World Live and you get, um, what's it called? You get the splash screen, which shows the new or this, this Titanoboa looking creature. Um, so now they've, or at least it's, it's been put online. Um, this is like the Hadroboa, whatever. Maybe I'll throw up an image of it if I remember. Ooh, there you go. Ooh. Um, so yeah, there you are. Hadro, Hadro, ha, Hydroboa. Is it Hydroboa? Something like that. It sounds like hybrid boa, but it's hi, Hydroboa. Oh, Model Orion uh, 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 first in? That's an interesting choice. Okay. I mean, does it have a good attack? It does like 2,000. Not, not bad. Not bad. But um, we're just going to... He's going to put him in first, eh? Taunting shield. Fair enough. Fair enough. Does it have a resistance to stun? Of course it does. Of course it has a resistance. <laughs> resistance to stun. Um, I may as well just keep its attack down. Uh, so it only does a thousand. If it does go for its big hit, it's only going to do like, well, a thousand damage with this. So it's not a great deal. I'll happily take that. A thousand damage. Um, now I could go for the stun. I don't think I am. I'm tempted to go for the impact, but I want his shield gone. I want his shield gone. That's what I want to do. Um, I think I can tank a few hits. He's probably going to end up swapping. There's another shield coming up. Um, I want to go for my big hit here. I'll go for this one. He's, he's probably whittling me down. He's probably got a Sarah Magnus or something. And he's, he's maybe just getting me to the point where he can swap in. But I, I don't think he wants to lose his model Orion. I really don't think he does. Um... So, at this point, he's got really low. I think... I might be happy just to go for the distracting resistant here. Uh, sorry, distracting impact. I think I'm... Because I think he's going to swap out. Yeah, I had a feeling. I had a feeling he was going to swap out. Um, and I'm pretty sure Sarah Magnus... Oh, 2,100. Okay, that's a decent amount. He's actually probably making his model Orion and Sarah Magnus around about the same attack. Um, so, they're equally useful um but i'd rather do that like he's gonna go for the the speed he, he has to to do some damage um but i'll kill him and he's only now gonna do a thousand damage now if i went for the nullifying and saving the resistant um that would have been a lot more damage and i'm still at the point where his mono ryan can't kill me in one hit without getting a lucky crit um and whatever comes in is gonna take a, at least a hit and that's if i want to stay in um i think i might i don't think i have any good ones um uh, any good switches? Yeah. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with this. So he's still got his Model Orion. Um, we have 2,000. He's probably going to kill us in one hit. Now, I've heard also that Magnetator, this guy, uh, isn't really that useful anymore. He's, still, he's been useful for so freaking long. And now it's not. That's crazy to me. Um, now, 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 now is the question. Um, I could have went for Trico here. Um... But I'm not. I'm not going to go for Trico. Because I know he's got that Model Orion. I know he has it. And it's waiting. Now it can kill me if it swaps in. So what I want to do is get him in a position where he thinks, you know what, I'll just go. I'll just swap in Model Orion and kill him. Um, depends on what this other creature is. Oh, it's Scorpius Rex. Okay. So, can he kill me in one hit? No. So it could end in a tie. It could go for Toxic Quills and end in a tie. However, I think he might switch out. I think he might switch out to Model Orion just to finish me. Um, and even if he... Do oh! oh! He, he wanted a tie! Interesting. In oh, and the stun as well. Ooh. 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 Was this a good idea? No. Uh, no, that was terrible. I've lost. I could have got a tie. <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> oh. I just thought he was going to quickly go for a Model Orion kill. Well then, Scorpius Rex, look at that. Trico, with all its armor, all its health, level 4, uh, sorry, 30, killed, destroyed. Okay, we'll do one more, and hopefully we get a regular win. You see, this is what you don't see with other YouTubers. They'll post their wins, they won't post their losses. <laughs> um, right. Now, I think it's a case of, like, I'm just used to using my old dinosaurs. And a lot of the time, um, my dinosaurs, you know, I, I've put so many boosts on them that it's like, I can't take them off until we get another reshuffle event. So I'm kind of stuck. Um, whoa, a Trico that's faster? Wow, 
Wow, interesting. So yeah, the main reason, I, the argument I've heard that why... Uh, oh, there we go. Oh, now I can't kill him in one hit. Brilliant. <laughs> the main reason why Morton Rex um, is... Well, sorry, Trico Rex isn't used that much anymore is because a Mortem with 130 speed can usually best it. Um, I'm just going to go for a regular hit here. I don't know what... I put a... Oh yeah. You see, I knew he was going to do that. I knew he was going to do that just to get some sort of damage on me. So he's probably going to do like 500, 559. So it's not a great deal. Um, and it seems to me he's pretty happy foddering that guy off. Yeah, he's it, like, come on, it's 183 damage. It's not the fastest thing. It's going to get killed. So there was no need for me to waste a big hit going for it. A Sarah Magnus just for a swap in? What the hell? Um, okay. I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, either way, you're not going to kill me, I don't think. Um, like what, 4,600, and now it's 3,003, sorry, 2,300. So no, no, you're not going to kill me. Uh, oh, I forget about the resilient strike, actually. God, see, a, like, a crit could have killed me there, so I'll go for that. Of course, don't get the crit. Uh, <laughs> right, so Trico, what you going to do, buddy? What, you just a regular hit, I think. Interest, oh, he, of course he gets a crit. Of course he gets a crit. Right. We're not bad. We're not bad. You can still kill me with some, like, a Morton that's faster. But I, I highly doubt he's got a Morton. Ooh, Smiley and Nemi's very rarely see this guy. Um, does he have a damage reduction? Uh, no. No. He can do 3,400, so I'll just go for a big hit. Oh, Monolo Ryan! With a 2,000. And it being quicker. Doesn't get, oh no, unfortunately. Oh, we didn't get the stun. Oh, that. Oh, he's gonna hate that. Oh, he's gonna hate that. Oh no. Oh, that is the worst. Because he can't go for it. Yeah. <laughs> you tried. Mate, mate, honestly, you tried. You tried. You tried. You can go for your, your cunning strike. I don't mind. You can we'll lose that guy. And. Um, I think he's stuck in for one more, so he can't do anything. Well played. Well, I mean, not well played. That that was unlucky. That was unlucky. I didn't even want to emote to him. That was completely unlucky. He should have got his stun. But again, that that's just the way of well, well played. Uh, I'll just say good luck. Because <laughs> it wasn't well played. It, it, that was completely RNG. Completely RNG. It depended what... If he got the stun there, it could have changed the battle. But because I got off my huge hit. Um, hey, I'm up to 4,500. 5, yay. <laughs> but anyway, guys, we're going to wrap it up there. But if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you cuties later. Oh, bye-bye.